This Target shopper had a cart full of merchandise this morning, but she hit a snag at the register when she swiped her debit card. My card was not approved. I know that it, there was more money on there than what my purchase only $100, and it got declined. The Ocean Township resident is concerned she's a victim of debit card fraud after learning that Target confirmed it's aware of unauthorized access to payment card data that may have impacted customers making debit and credit card purchases in its U.S. stores. How does it make you feel? Mad, annoyed, violated that such a big corporation that you shop in all the time could allow that to happen. So how could this happen? There's a, there a number of ways that it can be done. Is a skimmer is put in by uh, one uh, a dishonest employee that's, that's part of the enterprise or somebody who actually infiltrates the store in any manner or form. It could be a customer who uh, puts a skimmer on when the, um, when the sales clerk is not looking. There's also the possibility that, that it's two-pronged, and that is that the, the uh, information is intercepted electronically. The information that may have been stolen includes customers' names, debit and credit card numbers, expiration dates, and the three-digit security codes. What's going to happen is that person is going to be inconvenienced at a great, at, at great length. Their, their cards are going to be cut, um, and the credit card companies and the finance institutions, they're going to do an investigation to see if the victim uh, was a true victim. The retailer says Target alerted authorities and financial institutions immediately after it was made aware of the unauthorized access and is putting all appropriate resources behind these efforts, adding they're partnering with a leading third-party forensics firm to conduct a thorough investigation of the incident. This worried shopper used both her credit card and debit cards at Target since Thanksgiving. She came into the store today just to ask Target staffers for an update. And what did they tell you? They told me everything's okay. I don't have to do anything. I'm still uneasy. Absolutely concerned about it because I shop here probably once a week. On its website, Target states the issue has been identified and resolved. Still today, some shoppers are thinking twice about using plastic. Are you going to use a credit card? No, we're not today. It's going to make me want to look more into identity theft uh, protection. It's very scary, you know, you're done. nothing is safe anymore. So what's the best way to protect yourself from credit card fraud? Experts say harden your passwords and check your accounts frequently. I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.